It was at the end of December in 2023. If you remember at the time, IHOP KC spokesperson Eric Valls had announced that IHOP KC was permanently separating itself from its founder, Mike Bickle, due to a new level of inappropriate behavior that they were made aware of. And I said at the time, this didn't feel to me like a permanent separation because there were still so many aspects of Mike Bickle that were tied to IHOP KC. However, are we now starting to finally see the signs of that permanent separation? But months later, there's still a lot of questions. We're gonna talk about it in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you as always that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. If you guys are interested too, you want to hear my story about how I went blind and you know how do I even operate my entire ministry without being able to see. People ask me questions all the time, so I made a video. It explains it all. I provide a link to that in the description of all my videos for those interested in watching that. Also, if you could consider making a generous donation here to my ministry to help support what I do, I could really use your help. There's a couple of different ways you could do it. One easy way, click the super thanks button on the YT video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you can contribute, it helps and adds up. Doesn't matter how small or how big. Or you guys can become a premium member of Not By Sight News. Join my Patreon today for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash Not By Sight News. Link in the description. When you join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first. You also get exclusive links to the topics that we discuss I include those up on Patreon now, the way things are getting with YT. You got to be kind of careful with what I include here. Also there, you can comment censorship-free in all videos and even send me DMs. So check it out again. It's patreon.com slash notbysightnews, link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. You know, as I mentioned at the top, going back to the end of December, when Eric Valls made that announcement, he says, we are permanently separating ourselves from Mike Bickle due to this new level of inappropriate behavior. The only problem with that is that Mike Bickle was still posted basically all over IHOP KC, right? I mean, you had all of the sermons that were still up online. You had all of the books, all of the other product, everything, you know, associated with him. I mean, even, you know, you know, his pictures and everything relating to him around, you know, headquarters itself, still there. So I said at the time, how can this be a true separation? You're saying it in words, but your actions are saying something completely different. And there were people at the time, I remember, they were saying that, oh, you can't erase him. You're going to ruin the prophetic history of IHOP KC. Just because he's made a few mistakes doesn't mean that you should completely erase him. I mean, you don't want to cancel Mike Bickle. <laughs> And look how much new information has come out since the end of December about Mike, including his inappropriate behavior with Tammy Woods and with TH as they came out and gave their stories about what happened when they were just in their teens with Mike, right? And then IHOP KC, what did they do? They released a statement expressing their anger and just complete shock by Mike's behavior. All of a sudden, IHOP KC started to believe these women. Whereas the original Jane Doe, they questioned the legitimacy of her statement, of her story, because it was so long ago. They called in the question, but man, when Tammy and TH came out with their stories, they started singing a different tune, didn't they? Well, now here we are, several months later, like two months plus after, and as of February 28th, 2024, all of Mike Bickle's books have been pulled from the IHOP KC bookstore, at least their online store. All mentions of him now are gone. And I'll have a link in the description that will show you more about that. However, what we do not know is have the books also been pulled from the in-person IHOP KC store? Now that we would have to get confirmation from somebody there on the inside at IHOP KC. And I'm I'm sure that we're going to get that here very soon. In fact, probably by the time that some of you are watching this video, we'll already have the confirmation on that. If they're only pulling the books from the online bookstore and not the in-person one, 
Then again, I question whether or not they really want a true separation from Bickle altogether. The other thing to think about here, the sermons still up online, okay? Those haven't been taken down, so I'm still not calling this a permanent separation. Are there little steps being taken here and there? Yeah, but if you're going to get rid of the books, you got to get rid of the sermons too, because everything this man built his ministry off of was a complete and total lie. You can't have, and I, look, and I, I hate the whole phrase, to be honest with you, the whole cancel culture thing. I, I do not like it. But look, this is a man who was a wolf from the very beginning. Is there really any point to keeping his material out there if it's all it is just a tool of deception that he used to promote his own agenda and his own wicked ways? Absolutely not. It should be immediately taken down. You know, when the whole Ravi Zacharias thing had come out, I talked about it at the time, at least when it came to RZIM, and that wasn't immediate either, but they eventually did take down all of, you know, Zacharias' sermons and everything else like that, and I'm sure you could still find some floating around out there today, uh, but as far as from RZIM at that time, they at least got rid of them. But for Bickle, though, if the sermons are still out there, and if his books are still in the in-person bookstore, well, then they, I mean, it, it's got to go. They just have to go. We keep finding out more and more information every single day. They can't be worried about protecting the history of IHOP Casey because there is no history. The history is tainted in lies, manipulation, deception, all of it. It has to go. And even more than that, IHOP KC themselves has to go. Is this the beginning of that? Will we finally see this place shudder? I know they're going to try and, and fight and scratch and claw, do everything they can to hang on with everything, right? Because why? They don't want that money to stop coming in. However, I will tell you this, that, well, the money's already having a little bit of an issue getting to them with all the recent staff exits, right? And everybody else just jumping ship. We had, you know, they had to cut down to the prayer room and everything like that. People are seeing this organization for what and who they truly are. And they're tired of it. They're fed up with it. People are abandoning now Mike Bickle. Even the Bickle buddies are saying, we want out. Because they don't want their names tied to him or his ministry any longer. Because it's just... Now it's just, it's tainted with all of this inappropriate behavior and all the allegations and everything else, right? Here's something else that was pretty interesting. That despite the Mike Bickle books and all the other products being taken off from the IHOP KC online bookstore, you can still purchase his books from Stephen Strang's Charisma House. Now those were still made available um, on the Charisma House uh, as of February, the evening of February 28th. So... Perhaps, again, by the time that some of you watch this, they would have already been taken down. And I'll say this about Stephen Strang, because if you remember, he was somebody that came out and made some ridiculous statements defending Bickle, right? I mean, he was saying that, you know, basically comparing this guy to putting him up on a pedestal with Jesus for crying out loud. Um, and, you know, he was criticizing the Jane Doe's and just saying a bunch of ridiculous things about how it was a spiritual attack from Satan. It was all Satan's fault and that it was just you know, all an attempt, a, a wicked, a wicked coup that was put together to take this man out of ministry. Just said some just heinous things, right? And then what happened? Once the Tammy Woods and the TH stories came out there, all of a sudden Strang went out on his podcast and he started singing a different tune, saying that, oh, I, I, I admit I was wrong about Mike and I didn't have all of the facts straight. Yet he's still selling his books there as of February 28th. You can still get them because we know the partnership between Bickle, Stephen Strang, and Charisma. We know that's been going on for quite some time too, right? But I want to throw it to you guys. Again, I'm going to have more information here in the description. What do you think about IHOP KC getting rid of the Bickle products there for the online bookstore? Is it going to happen on the in-person? What about the sermons and everything else? Because again, this to me is still not a permanent separation until you get rid of everything having to do with a man who has been nothing more than a snake the entire time that he has been in ministry. But again, I'd like to hear from you. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos. Let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, 
talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days. Really, the final hours. Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you're somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description or... Just hit that super thanks button down below on the YT video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.